Hi, my name is Eric Simpson, and this is my presentation of my personal and professional website that I did for the uh, web design class. And since I didn't have the opportunity to present it in class, I figured that I would go ahead and create this presentation for you to review and to, to at least meet the requirement or recognize that there, while there was time to do it in class, it was perhaps not opportune. So uh, at any rate, I'm going to move forward, and here's my website. The intent of the website is indicated in, in, in the blurb here is that it's my personal professional information website and as my Volky will explain in a minute, uh, the purpose of the website. Hello, my name is Eric Simpson. Welcome to my website. I've created it for two purposes. Primarily, I'm hoping that potential employers will use it to evaluate my background experience and education in ways that transcend the limitations of the traditional resume. This site can also serve as a means to introduce myself to new friends, colleagues, or other associates. Like so, the script for the Vokey is presented here below as well, um, so it's easy to access. And I also, if you'll notice, have an alt tag uh, tied to the Vokey itself, so uh, accessibility is, is pretty solid there. I've organized the uh, website with a standard banner across the top, standard navigation and a table at the left, and then using sort of various tables to organize the content in the main body. And in my Vokey, I don't know if you noticed, there was a musical background. I created, created the audio recording in GarageBand and uploaded it to my Vokey. And for my icon, I used the Jesus icon, but I got rid of his hair because he had a beard somewhat close to what mine was without the gray. And the image is an actual image I took when I was in Afghanistan uh, at Camp Alamo, and those two flags in the background are actually flags that uh, I flew and then um, brought home as commemorative uh, relics of my time in Afghanistan. So, for the About Me, I used the Wordle. Uh, Included some of the mostly professional, some characteristic stuff about me, but a teacher, dedicated experience, uh, education technology, ELA certified, uh, effective leader, professional, problem solver, manager, unflappable. And then I used uh, this area also for the Gladster, more some just broad overview about me, uh, images of family and deployment, travel. It somewhat mirrors the organization of the site and includes a little bit of multimedia, a link to a word thread um, relating to uh, an exercise that I did in Egypt. With Egypt so prominent in the news these days, uh, I was reminded of my... And that's pretty loud. But it goes on, and there's uh, a series of slides and, and pictures and narrative that actually, if anybody linked into it, could, could add comments to as well. And throw a little multimedia in there. I was able to embed a video uh, from my time uh, when I was both coaching and wrestling in Upstate College. And this little bit here where I pat the guy on the back after I throw him on his head. I always thought it was kind of telling and a little bit uh, about me as a person. And of course, anytime you get a chance give yourself a Rolling Stone soundtrack, uh, that's never a bad thing. And then background uh, includes places where I've lived, both in my normal civilian home and also where, I, where I've lived at various, various points of time. In the military, uh, some interesting facts about my high school, uh, success as a wrestler, and um, a couple other odds and ends. And then a description of my early family life and some of my family background, my mom when she was young and then shortly before her death, and my current nuclear family, my wife, my two children, kind of like this image in the middle where I've got uh, my son about three or four inches shorter than I am before I left for Iraq. And when I came back about, uh, about a year and a half later, he's uh, almost an inch or two taller. All that can happen in 18 months. 
And of course, uh, my children's they are now, my daughter in Scotland and Edinburgh for a master's degree, and my son is junior at UB. Travel, bit of an overview, countries that I've visited, major cities I've visited, and then just a couple quick images, Stonehenge, Coliseum, Rotenburg, Germany, Tikrit in, uh, in Iraq, uh, Egypt, skiing the Alps, um, and of course, just on the professional side, this resume uh, is just embedded, looks pretty much like the resume that you would get in a Word document, and it just mirrors exactly what they would find if I sent them a hard copy. Overview of my work experience, a couple of uh, representative images, nothing too fancy. Um, and then, but I did sort of distinguish between my military and my civilian work experience is kind of a running theme of my life of having sort of worked in two tracks and two careers. Uh, civilian work experience, military work experience, and a little more drill down than you would get in a standard resume that you just can't fit into two, pa two pages. And while my teaching experience has been relatively limited, what, the, what I have done, I wanted to get out there, show that I have at least had some time in the classroom. And again, my education just distinguishes between civilian and military. Uh, civilian stuff is pretty common knowledge, shouldn't, uh, didn't require a lot, of, a lot of explanation. People are familiar with that track. But I did, with the military, go a little bit more of uh, what was involved and the time frame five month course, a six month course, six weeks, nine weeks. Um, and then of course my portfolio, combination of podcasts, the claymation movie that I made with uh, Katie and Raj uh, that I kind of like and is proud of and is actually kind of practical. Uh, tutorials I've done for multimedia, uh, a wide feedy screen that I was using for one of my units another PSA, another podcast, digital story, and an online slideshow that I did again for that same uh, multimedia unit, uh, a copy of a paper that I wrote on cell phones and education uh, for issues of technology round one, and again, uh, another screencast tutorial, and then a rotating GIF that I used just to uh, spice up the one multimedia unit. Of course, site map, which mirrors almost exactly the navigation that I have, but it does reflect uh, all the pages that I have within the site. So uh, that's my site. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty appropriate for the audience, uh, and I think it's informative without being overbearing and has enough uh, flash in it to uh, be interesting. So thank you.